Hi guys, my name is Deepak Mantani and uh, today we are going to talk about how does Google search work. Uh, so before you get blown away with this fancy diagram that I've done, let me take you through it. Uh, so there are, there are 20 million searches that happen every day in Google and uh, I'm sure you should be mesmerized with the fact that whenever you search for something, Google you know, gives you results in less than half a second. So what does Google do? What runs in the background? Uh, it's, it's time that you know the truth about uh, Google search. So here we go. So the first thing to take a note of is when, when you're searching in Google, you're actually not searching in Google. You're searching in the Google's index, which is you're searching in the memory of Google or at least as much of the memory as Google has at that point of time. So uh, if Google uh, doesn't know something or if Google does not have anything recorded in its index, uh, you probably will not see that suggestion in Google search as well. So it, it basically you are searching uh, directly from the Google's memory or Google's index and that's the reason you are finding everything so quickly because Google doesn't have to go back and check your information. It's right there from the Google's index. So this starts with something which is called uh, Google Spider or a Google Bot. It's not a, it's not a real spider, uh, but it's it's a it's a machine learning. It's a it's a crawler. It's a code uh, which runs all the time, 24 by 7, 365 days a uh, in a year. And uh, what this crawler does is this crawler goes out and uh, it collects information from 60 trillion web pages, which are currently live on the internet. So the job of this crawler is to go to uh, the World Wide Web and you know, it finds information from different websites uh, by finding them uh, interconnected to each other. So it goes to one page, follows a different page from that page and then it builds its network. And uh, after this information is collected, after Google has uh, basically categorized everything that uh, Google has learned during this process, uh, Google asks questions. Uh, and those are those are really more than 200 questions. So questions around what's the heading of your page, what's the relevancy of your page, what's the what's the speed of your website, uh, what, what's the likelihood of your content, how much images are you using, what's the quality of your content, and many more questions which you can learn when you are learning search engine optimization. Uh, but but really 200 uh, or more questions than that. And the answer of those questions basically decide which content is not relevant and which content is relevant. Uh, and when you are searching for something in Google, uh, in half a second, Google basically, based on its answers, is able to produce the right results. So uh, the information where Google received most of the positive answers or most of the relevant answers are shown at the top and uh, the less relevant links are shown at the bottom. So that's exactly how Google search works. And if you want to know more about it, you want to uh, show interest in uh, tweaking your website so that uh, it gets presented higher in Google search, uh, then uh, you must do something which is called search optimization. Thank you very much and have a good evening.